uh, in terms of F1 history, we're talking about constructors' titles. Ferrari have the record of six consecutive constructors' titles, tied with Mercedes, and there's their chance to take a new record today, to do seven constructors' titles in a row. That's what we're looking for today, but of course we're also looking for a great race. Let's hope we get a good one. Max Verstappen, he's starting in third place behind the two Mercedes. Antonio Giovinazzi, the only Italian in the grid, on the grid, coming into his position. He is last to line up. Let's hope that he can make some progress. He usually gains places on the opening lap, as Antonio Giovinazzi, as we've seen throughout the course of this year. The run to that first chicane is going to be crucial. All eyes on the start. Come on, I'm a turn. Come on. That's out. Away we go. The two Mercedes get off the line well. Max Verstappen is going to battle with Gasly. It's a good start by Valtteri Bottas. And Hamilton's coming under pressure. Hamilton's got cars on either side of him. And he gets Gasly on the way. But Verstappen's moved up into second place. And Ricardo's down the inside. Almost getting Hamilton. We can't quite do it. Hamilton has dropped down to third place. That's one of the poorest starts we've seen from Lewis all year so far. And it's only given the advantage. And Hamilton also trying to gain some place on the Leclerc there. Charles Leclerc in the red Ferrari. And it's Albert in the red. Having a great battle, the two McLarens are racing hard as well at the moment. Lando Norris has caught off sights, having a look down the inside. The teams were going to get a bit anxious when they see their two teammates running quite a bit behind. Oh, we've got one of the hardest cards, I think it's Magnussen who's spun out. Oh, that's a great shame to see, but otherwise it was actually pretty clean, wasn't it? Yeah, some good driving, wheel to wheel, and notably between Daniel Ricciardo and Lewis Hamilton into that first chicane. Hamilton's initial getaway looks okay. It was the second phase of the start when he seemed to lose out. And this is uh, a sweet, sweet uh, image in the mirrors of Valtteri Bottas to see Max Verstappen behind him and uh, knowing well that Lewis will just have this first eight section of the race neutralised running in the dirty air of the Red Bull. Yeah, some hard work now for Lewis Hamilton. There are the two McLarens, uh, as we saw. They're running in 9% where they started from. Uh, across the line then, it is Valtteri Bottas who leads from Max Verstappen with Hamilton in third, Ricardo in fourth, Gasly's got to place down the stick, Charles Leclerc in sixth, and what's up then to be at, as you see Charles Leclerc closing on Gasly. Billy, we've seen some gains and losses, which are the, the key ones we've seen on that opening lap? The most significant game now that first lap, Antonio Giovinazzi, the Italian that is home from for a the in Italy, uh, and he's moved up to 14th from last in the grid. He also chose the soft tyres, so that obviously gave an advantage here on the first lap, and he's definitely made use of it. Lance Stroll having a front wing chase. Things have not been going well for him in recent races. David, let's have a look at what happened. Yeah, we can see some dust coming out of the, uh, the reverse angle shot in the first corner. You can see they've just touched down to the back of uh, the car broke his front wing and they went into the gravel so that was going to be a very long afternoon so it passes that for Max Verstappen race pace from the Red Bull looking quite promising at the moment isn't it you have to say those top three cars are on medium compound tyre the ones following them are all on the soft tyre then the, the next car to have the medium compound is Sergio Perez down in 11th place so we will watch his pace uh, currently behind the two McLarens Here's another look at the start. You see the initial movement from Hamilton wasn't bad, but it was that secondary phase. It was almost like he, he didn't get um, you know, up the gears and, and good traction, or it was almost like he didn't have full deployment on his electrical energy, and that just allowed Max to slip up the inside. Daniel there probably could have been a bit more aggressive, but decided that fourth was already a good position for him. And you can see Max getting the benefit of the slip screen from Bottas. And uh, very unusual to see a Honda out dragging Mercedes, but on this occasion, that's exactly what Max did. Very true, they've been making tough starts. What about uh, Gasly here? Yeah, it looks like he's going to have to lift when Hamilton comes across to the right. I think he lifts out of the power. Oh, and all this contact. I don't think Hamilton was really aware that Gasly was on the outside. No, and that was a remarkable that they didn't end up losing the front wing on Gasly's car, unlike Stroll. So this was Giovinazzi, and he made up a bunch of places on that opening lap. Let's see if we can spot some. Ah, right, part of it was that incident. Yeah, it was Vettel who actually touched with Magnussen. So, just uh, that's going to be in the back of the camera shot there, but it was uh, a right of Vettel that just tipped into the hats and spun him around. Now, Lance Stroll, when he came in, Billy, really, went on to the hard compound tyre, didn't he? So that's going to be an interesting one for the other teams to watch to see if it works. Yeah, definitely. They don't have too much information on the hard tyre, and this is not a uh, tyre compound that we didn't think we'd see in today's race, but the fact that obviously Lance has had the damage he's had, and it looks like it's going to be one stop the nature of this uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how long that hard tyre can last, and whether he can even get to the end of the race or not. Yeah, well, we 